Well, guys, apparently I went, I left Rutland, and I went about a mile, I think, something like that, and uh, I went to a main junction where, you know, the AT and LT splits off, you know, the long trail. long trail just keeps going up north, and the AT splits off to the right. Well, I jumped off the wrong one. I just realized that uh, 1.7 miles back. <laughs> uh, it's just been a... It's been a good day though, uh, so I gotta walk back 1.7 miles, man, uh, cause I just see a sign. Ah, oh, man. Right here. If you can see it, I can't really zoom in, but it says, you know, long trail, long trail north this way. If you see behind me, there's a white blaze back there on the tree somewhere. But I was just following the white blazes and not even really paying attention to the signs. I was like, oh, this is still AT. And I wasn't that, I wasn't sure if I was that close to the, to the, uh, Long Trail and, and, and AT split off. There's another one, Long Trail South. Don't say anything about LT. And I've just been looking at these right here. So now I got to go back 1.7, but anyway. Luckily, it's a good day. I was only going to put out about 10 miles anyway, but um, well, see you guys on the trail, and I got to walk back. I got to walk back almost two miles. <laughs> Another rainy day in Vermont. All right, we just had a real bad storm. It rained. Man, it came down hard, uh, terribly hard. But now I'm slushing around in mud and water again. I'm only going to do about maybe about seven, seven more miles. That little bit of mile, or excuse me, that three, three and a half miles, you know, out of the way, kind of messed me up a little bit. It was 1.7. And then, you know, I, of course, I had to come back 1.7. So, um, but there's a shelter here. I think it's called like Brook Shelter or something. But it's like seven miles. I'm only going to do about a 10 mile day. So, luckily, I got. A good three days of food to last me until I get to Hanover. Hanover is my next town, which is about 45 more miles from here. Um, I'm done with my 20 mile days. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to do another 20 mile day. I've got less than 500 miles and I'm just going to take it easy. All right, see you guys at the shelter. All right, guys, it's July 21st. I'm sitting there snacking. Uh, I've already put in probably um, probably four miles. Uh, I didn't get any video at all last night of the shelter or anything. I just got there, set up my stuff, and uh, went to sleep. Um, there was two people in the, in the shelter already. Excuse me, there was two people total. It was just me and another gentleman. Uh, the rest of them were tented, camped out. So there really wasn't no tent spots, and I really didn't want to get everything wet again. So <clears throat> I just stayed there in the, in the shelter. Uh, first shelter I stayed at in probably the Shenandoahs. Um, but uh, supposedly there's like a bear problem up there, but uh, you know, there wasn't no bear coming in last night. I had my earplugs in, so I didn't ever hear anything anyway. So, uh, but anyway, I'm sitting here snacking, got my food out. It's gonna be a pretty good day. Sun's out. I mean, it's, it's wet, muddy, but uh, I don't know if it's gonna rain today or not. Um, I'll try to put in maybe 17, maybe today. Try to try to keep up my average, because I know I'm going to slow down here in, in the whites <clears throat> in the next uh, probably 45, 50 more miles. Uh, I've got 37 miles until I get to um, New Hampshire. Okay, so uh, see you guys on trail, and uh, people behind me just keep going.
all right i don't know if i ever went over this with you guys but at the end of the day when i know i'm not going to make it to the next shelter or, or campsite or something like that what i do is you know i knock out the, the number of miles that i want to do and then i start looking for the next water source and then at the next water source you know how i got that two liter bladder i'll just fill it up with water and then i fill up my smart water bottle which is a liter so now i'm walking with three liters of water and what i do is i'll just find a nice stealth campsite somewhere you know like in the woods over there or something like that which is not really too stealthy over there but um stealthy means you know not not a designated campsite you know um and that's what i'll do i'll try to find a campsite and then i'll just plop down there for the night so what i just did this is what i'm doing right now i'm just i'm just trying to find a good campsite and right now you can't really see the elevation but i'm going straight downhill um it is about 10 minutes to six o'clock and i'm just beat you know the, the up and downs beat me today um i'm at probably i'll be close to 16 miles by the time i get down to the bottom of the hill um what i like to do is get 17 or 18 yeah i would like to do that but uh if i find a campsite before then i'm going for it uh, so but that's what my routine is and it's always been like that honestly ever since you know virginia you know uh, i just never went over with you guys and you know because there's are there are some times you know where you're just not gonna make it to the shelter you're just not gonna make it to the campsite because you, you're just tired and uh of course you know you need water to to drink you need water to uh to cook you know there's a lot of people out here that doesn't doesn't have uh uh cookware you know they just take a bunch of like protein bars and all this other stuff you know but me i like to have a, a hot meal at the end of the day so that's what i'm doing right now just trying to find a campsite guys and uh i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to find one I'll be honest with you hopefully all right see you guys july 22nd uh i don't know what it is but it's hard for me to move this morning uh just really tired just yesterday just excuse me just really wore me out um i'm on top of a little no i guess uh got a nice little view last night and everything uh got the camp around uh i think it was around seven um you know i got water about three miles back you know just trying to find somewhere to for somewhere to camp and i didn't really find anywhere until i got up here so i carried you know an extra what four pounds of water before yeah i found camp but uh yeah i got um 18 miles before i get to uh new hampshire so it's a little town of uh, hanover i'll be there i can make it probably today but here's the deal guys it's saturday i got a package coming in uh, at the post office just got my some of my cold weather gear and all that so i'm going to just get in there tomorrow get in there tomorrow like today i'll just do like a 15 mile day camp outside of new hampshire about you know three miles go in there tomorrow have all day to spend today you know just you know all day just to resupply and all that mess and then uh monday morning just go ahead and get my package and head on out um hanover's got a bunch of trail angels that'll you know let you stay at your uh stay, stay at their place for free so that's probably what i'll do um so yeah um it's going to be like a little quick little 15 mile day well i say quick but it'll probably take me all day because i'm just going to kind of take my time uh elevation don't look too bad but uh i think 20 percent chance of rain today <sighs> can't quit yawning um 20 percent chance of rain today so uh see you guys out there and um it is now 7:35, <laughs> so i gotta get moving all right see you guys